What's up you guys? So welcome to the vlog. Today we're gonna be going to a pet cafe which has cats, bunnies, hedgehogs, a bunch of other stuff. And I'm super excited to show you guys. We're going to Noshima right now to go meet up with our friends. So stay tuned for the video. And I'm back to narrating. So hello, welcome, welcome. Uh, so this cafe in particular has bunnies and hedgehogs. And my favorite part is the cat cafe. So this is the entrance and it's super cute. It's called Ku and Riku. And not only is it a super cool pet cafe, you can also adopt animals over here. So if you're ever interested in finding a place to adopt one, definitely check this place out. So this is where you go to pay and we ended up staying for about an hour. So that's how much time we paid for. And these are the doggos, the dogs that you can adopt. Oh my gosh, me and my boyfriend fell in love with this one right here. Look at, look at, oh my gosh. When he saw him for the first time, it made my whole heart melt. And I was really sad because we can't adopt a dog right now. But if we could, oh my god, we would have gotten him like the second this happened. This is the bunny room. This is the first stop that we had inside. And it was super cute, but you'll see why it was kind of problematic. I'll explain in like a few seconds. These are the two we got. It was Madu-chan and I forgot that other bunny's name, but... He was kind of mean, as you can tell. Obviously, we try to keep these two apart because the other one kept bullying Maru-chan, so we felt bad. Also, the other bunny kept pooping, so yeah. He's over here talking shit. Alright, Katie, okay, I'm all free. Watch him, watch him jump at you. He really likes Vasquez. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. After a few minutes of playing with the bunnies, the guy came in with all of our drinks, so we did what any friend group would, and clinked all together. They missed, though. It's okay. You'll you'll get it next time. There they go. There they go. He's like, leave me the fuck alone. Oh my god. Oh my god. He hit the wall. Do when he catches the As mean as that bunny was, my boyfriend still pet him a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Vasquez is the only one giving him love. Look at that What the heck? I don't even play. He literally put his lips on your straw. Bro, are you still in my drink, Tim? His ass is off your drink, too. Hey, little oh. When he extends his neck, you can see his bare neck. No, no hair or anything on it. It was actually true, he didn't have any fur on his neck. So Maru-chan, me and him were just chilling in the corner over there and he was so cute. I don't know how anybody could hate him. He's so He's cute. The He's the only nice one. <laughs> the other one's been trying to beat him up the whole time. This one's my favorite. He likes my foot. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry. Bro, this man is oh. evil! Look at him! He literally smacked the shit out of him, bro. Oh, Brian does look cute though. These are all the hedgehogs. Here comes the gloves. You can you can pick them up. Oh, Brian child. He's all curled up. He's so cute. Oh. Over here you can buy uh, snacks for the hedgehogs, like some mealworms, for like 400 yen. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the gloves on. So for your safety and the hedgehog safety, you gotta put on these gloves so that way you're protected from its spines and so that way it doesn't get too frightened. So this is the hedgehog that we have and his name is Brian and he is so cute. He was so friendly and he let both me and my boyfriend pick him up the whole time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the hedgehogs are nocturnal. So we made sure to come at night so it was more comfortable to wake up and play with us. Aww, you're doing good with him. There he is. <laughs> if you made it to this part of the video, comment a hedgehog emoji to show your love for Brian the Hedgehog because he is so cute and he deserves it. A stretch. I think Brian likes me. Bri oh, Dobie hates me. Dobie. <laughs> He's cute. Hey. Let him crawl hand to hand. Yeah. Oh, go back he in really there. doesn't want to be held. There you go. 
Alright, now for the main event. We got some cats. <gasps> oh no! Okay. Is there another one? Yeah, there's one more. Okay. And welcome to the cat room. It is a utopia for people who love cats like me. And I'm sure if you love them, please check it out if you're ever in Japan. Oh my goodness. We come here a lot, so some of these cats we actually kind of recognize. Hi, I missed you. That was your, that was the guy, that was the one that liked you a lot. Oh, I think he remembers me too. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> if you made it to this part of the video, please comment a cat emoji if you really like cats or if you want to visit a cat cafe someday. I don't know if you can see me. It looks like we're pretty popular right now. Hello. Hi. Hello. Alright, so I'm going to answer a few of your guys' questions about cat cafes now. So cat cafes, you pay by the hour, and basically, hello little guy, it's actually really affordable. It was only like $12 an hour for this one, and you can pay extra for some ice cream. And the ice cream, they really like, so. It's so cute. But yeah, a lot of them are really sweet, and they're really used to humans, so they'll come up to you and let you pet them and stuff. And inside of the room comes with a bunch of like toys and stuff. So, you can always find little ways to interact with the cats. Oh, hello little guy. Oh, he's a little shy. Look at this guy. See, he looks cute at first glance, but he's actually the one that stole my entire ice cream. No. Look, he keeps following me for my ice cream. No, I don't want you. <laughs> I'm going to these cats. These cats are cute. No! This guy is just... <laughs> he's been following me the whole time. Oh no, 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 no. Look, he's like in front of the camera. Okay, so we're back. And yeah, obviously if there's, there's some pros and cons to this little ice cream thing. Pros is a lot of cats want to come up to you and let you pet them and stuff. The cons is that some of them will go kind of crazy over this stuff and try to scratch you a little bit to get a little bite of it. Like this guy right here. He's aggressive as heck. Look at him. He's literally holding onto my shirt right now. Most of them are nice. This one's just an asshole. Let's get back into some cute cats though. Looking at my foot. Because these cats interact with humans so often, they're actually really nice and super outgoing. Hi. Hello. Hi. But yeah, if you ever go to Japan, Enoshima is actually a really underrated place, I think. This is a pet cafe that's over in Enoshima and it also doubles as a pet store. See, so you can actually adopt some of the animals that are here. So you should definitely check it out. And you can hang out with some really cool cats. So <laughs> you pay by the hour and then you also have to pay for one drink. So I always go with like tea or something like that. Poor K Vaughn, he's allergic to cats. Hi. So when you enter the room, this is the array of little cat toys so you can play with them. But if you just want to sit around and just chill and have a relaxing little time, they have some books over here, 
a little clipboard that you can write with. And back here, there's a couch and some TV with some little cat pillows. So this is really therapeutic and a nice way to relax and kick back, you know? We got stuck back. The first, the first time, the, no, no, the first time it wasn't illegal because the lines were dotted. Yeah. The second time, that shit was a fucking solid yellow. <laughs> Guys, that's the end of the vlog. We're just gonna grab some snacks really quick and then head home. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned for more videos. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!